G. Inward fruit first. Fruit begins within individuals, in personal, private victory over sin, and in character growth and development. When people ask how to be a good person or Christian, they immediately go to helping the poor, giving tithes to the church, volunteering, or some other external thing. The culture today does the same with social movements, government social programs, climate change, etc. They immediately begin with outward behavior modification. The negative effects are multiplied when our focus is not even on our own external behavior, but with other people's external behavior. External change is not the first thing the church should focus on, especially not the external change of those outside the church. This only contributes to the works salvation and legalism mentality of false religions and the world's hostility to the church. The church, then, isn't best known for its loving marriages and families, but by its judging of outsiders. We must first focus our change efforts internally. First, to the innermost parts of the individual. Then, to the lives of individuals. Then, to entire churches. And so on. Prioritizing individual character, action, and behavior first before directing it outwards. Stephen Covey, author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, said this, quote, The inside-out approach to personal and interpersonal effectiveness means to start first with self, even more fundamentally, to start with the most inside part of self, with your paradigms, your character, and your motives. The inside-out approach says that private victories precede public victories, end quote. I would argue that the inside-out approach is not only true of personal development and effectiveness, it's also true of creating great marriages, great families, great churches, great communities, great governments, great nations, and great societies. Before we can influence any kind of good change in these other places, we must first start within ourselves. You cannot eat an elephant without taking a first bite or walk a mile without taking a first step. If you cannot find love within yourself first, what makes you think you can find love in your marriage? If you can't control your own lust, anger, greed, etc., how can you help your kids, your church, or culture to control theirs? If you don't put the needs of the poor person you drive by every day on the way to work above your own, How do you think you can influence politicians to put the needs of the poor above the needs of their political agenda? Change happens from the ground up, from the inside out. The Apostle Paul acknowledges this by saying that leaders need to have their own house in order first, before they can lead others. 1 Timothy 3, verses 4 through 5 says, quote, An overseer must manage his own household well and keep his children under control with complete dignity. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how can he care for the church of God? And how much more true is this in things larger than a local church? If we desire to have fruitful personal lives, marriages, families, churches, institutions, governments, legal systems, law enforcement, economic systems, nations, and societies, we must begin first with fruitful individuals. We must begin first with ourselves. Following is a graphic chart about the change spectrum and a table about the inward fruits of individuals, comparing good fruit versus bad fruit according to scripture. Both this table and this chart are included in your companion PDF guide. Change Spectrum 
first individual internal change, fruits of inward repentance, personal private victories, character growth and development. All future change begins here. The next level, individual external change, fruits of outward behavior, improved marriages, families, influence on churches, businesses, and neighborhoods. The level above this, community change, fruits of community impact through organized local action programs with many individuals working together. The level above this, system change, fruits of biblical justice, creating impact through communities working together to change laws and bills, etc. Society change, fruits of social justice, the overall cumulative impact of individuals, communities, and systems. The following table shows inward fruits in individuals. Good fruit, love, see Galatians 5.22. Bad fruit, hatred, see Galatians 5.20. Good fruit, joy, see Galatians 5.22. Bad fruit, jealousy, see Galatians 5.20. Good fruit, peace, see Galatians 5.22. Bad fruit, envy, see Galatians 5.21. Good fruit, patience, see Galatians 5.22. Bad fruit, bitterness, see Ephesians 4.31. Good fruit, goodness, see Galatians 5.22. Bad fruit, malice, see Colossians 3.8. Good fruit, self-control, see Galatians 5.23. Bad fruit, recklessness, see Ephesians 5.18. Good fruit, faithfulness. See Romans 1.17. Bad fruit, faithlessness. See Romans 1.31. Good fruit, righteousness. See Romans 14.17. Bad fruit, unholiness. See 1 Timothy 1.9. Good fruit, hopefulness. See Romans 15.13. Bad fruit, unholiness. See 1 Timothy 1.9. Good fruit, hopefulness. See Romans 15, 13. Bad fruit. Greed. See 1 Corinthians 6, 10. Good fruit. Clear conscience. See 1 Timothy 1, 19. Bad fruit. A depraved mind. See Romans 1, 28. Good fruit. Tenderhearted. See Ephesians 4, 32. Bad fruit. Heartless. See Romans 1, 31. Good fruit. Sober-minded. See 1 Timothy 3.2. Bad fruit, in sobriety. See Galatians 5.21. Good fruit, temperate. See 1 Timothy 3.2. Bad fruit, rage. See Galatians 5.20. Good fruit, humility. See Colossians 3.12. Bad fruit, pridefulness. See Philippians 2.3. Good fruit, lowly. See Matthew 18.4. Bad fruit, conceit, see Galatians 5.25. Good fruit, contentment, see Philippians 2.14. Bad fruit, covetousness, see Exodus 20.17. Good fruit, purity, see 1 Thessalonians 4.7. Bad fruit, lust, see Colossians 3.5. Good fruit, sacrificial love, see 1 John 3.16. Bad fruit, selfish ambition. See Philippians 2.3. Good fruit, integrity. See 1 Kings 9.4. Bad fruit, deceitfulness. See 1 Peter 3.10. Good fruit, godliness. See 1 Kings 9.4. Bad fruit, ungodliness. See 1 Timothy 1.9. Good fruit, obedience. See 1 Kings 9.4. Bad fruit, lawlessness. See 1 Timothy 1.9. Good fruit, Wisdom. See 1 Corinthians 12.8. Bad fruit. Foolishness. See Mark 7.22. Good fruit. Fear of God. See Proverbs 9.10. Bad fruit. Arrogance. 
see Mark 22. The following chart and table are also included in your companion PDF guide.